happen based on all of the different computer models, at least for the next 24 to 48 hours. You notice how well defined the track is. Most of the computer models all agree in a north to northwestward motion between now and Thursday, right through the heart of the Bahamas as a strong category three or four hurricane. Notice after that, a couple of models begin to pull off to the east, but many others work very close to Florida. That's why hurricane watches are in effect for a good part of the Sunshine State in the eastern half of Florida. Then after that, it begins to churn a little bit more to the north as it's influenced by an area of low pressure building in across the northern tier of the United States. That will help to accelerate the storm and drive it off to the northeast. Exactly where that turn happens will dictate exactly where Hurricane Matthew goes. But latest projection from the National Hurricane Center drives it again towards eastern parts of Florida Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, early on Friday, and then right over the eastern part of the Carolinas, and then the turn out to sea to the east. Where will that turn happen? Right now, the odds favor it being along this line or to the east. That would mean very little effect on New Hampshire. Some rough surf along the coast and also possibly a few showers later Saturday night and on Sunday. It all depends on how this trough of low pressure, the jet stream, digs in towards Matthew Saturday, Saturday night and early on Sunday. Right now, it looks like it's more progressive, we call it, driving it from west to east. That would keep the storm out to sea to our east. If this tends to back down to the south, drives it up to the north, then of course we have greater impacts here along about Saturday night into Sunday.